hello everyone so today we are going to work on this turn in animations for the bow and arrow so as you can see here when the character turns after this point it uh, rotates with his foot so this works in both crouch mode as well so this is what I'm going to work on today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me all right first i'm gonna download this stand in nine turn 90 right animation without skin And also there should be a turn left animation too. Yeah, this one. Download without the skin. And I'm gonna put those two animations into this folder. And using Blender, I'm gonna add a root motion to that like this so i have set the input folder as this folder and output as this folder right uh, now let's import those animations into our project don't need to import the mesh again import it you should see knight rn skeleton right it has the animation with root motion rotation like this okay now where should we use this oh wait a minute i need to enable root motion to these animations otherwise they won't work uh, they won't have the root motion in the runtime right now um, let's check the bow and arrow system we have these problems wait i think that the snapping thing happens because of this enemy let's see yeah it looks fine now okay so now when we try to rotate more than this the character should turn with the turn in animation similarly at this place character should start to turn with the turn in animation so first let's go to the animation blueprint and this is the function where we set the upper body rotation let let's collapse this right now let's print the values we get here okay. 
Y is what keep changing. Yeah. Yo. So let's only print Y to determine the value we need to play the animation. Oh wait. Something else is also printing the value. Yeah, where is that? Oh no, I should just split this. That's the case. Right. Now we can see when we look there. Oh, we are printing pitch. Yo is the value I should print. Right. After this point, it is goes more than 90 positive and here uh, less than 90 negative so what if i face in this direction same more than 90 positive and more than less than negative 90 okay so those are the points i need to play the animations so right how do we play the animations then if this one is larger than 90 let's have a two ones node and place slot animation wait there were two things as dynamic montage mm, which one I should use I'm not sure but for the slot I'll use the default slot Can we copy this? No, okay. Default slot. I'll just type it. And as the animation turn, uh, right, stand in turn 19, right. Which one? okay this one let's play that let's see if this animation is being played wait what happened there Why did it play initially? Let's see. Let's check the output log to see the value we got initially. Ah, we have the output log here. Let's clear this and play once again. Okay, I got 287. How did I get that? So first, 
it is minus 2 and suddenly it became this okay what happened there ah sorry I forgot to add the branch so add a branch condition is this so after let's have a delay of one second and reset this okay right now the character is turning cool and let's do the same to the other side as well mm. so how do we do this okay let's get the absolute value of this one and check if it is larger than 90 then let's select based on the sign that means based on if this is larger or equal to larger or less than zero so if it is true that means the character should turn right If it is false, that means character should turn left. Right. Now let's see. See, now the character does turn. Nicely. Oh, something happened there. but it is working so if I try to turn like this it kind of goes haywire see if I have some sudden turns the system doesn't can't keep up with the controller so that's why it kind of break but overall it is working let's speed up this animation a little bit and reduce the blend in and blend out times also let's check the duration of the animation it's um, sequence length 1.1 So, point 0.5 should be enough here. Right, that's better. If we go too fast the system kind of breaks we will have to do some thing about that later but it is working for now uh, well actually for that what we can do is we can slow down this mouse rotation speed So how can we do that? Um, uh, let's go to the character blueprint 
and uh, uh, this is the player but I think I have implemented the mouse input in the parent character mouse input here okay so what if I let's just test this if we had something like 0 0.02 here let's see how much speed we get for turning oh it's very slow point one right so here if we are aiming with the bow let's add a multiplier um, let's see enable aiming mode okay we have this bow equipped variable then we should be able to use it for this If bow equipped, let's select the multiplier like this. If bow is not equipped, it should be 1, otherwise, point 2. Let's do the same for the lookup. And put as well. See, now it's slow. Right, that's better. And when we don't have the mm, bow equipped, we can look fast. Alright, so yeah, we can stop this episode right here. Oh wait, one more thing. I need to check if what how this looks like when I'm crouching. Oh, that seems fine actually. See? Right, great. So actually I could replace uh, there are some animations the character turns who went in crouching mode, but This seems already good enough to me. All right, so Let's stop here and As always the project file update will be here in the patron page And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the patron club Link would be in the description below Thanks for watching. See you in another episode. Goodbye.